Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot with me, Matthew Caddis, a.k.a. Poogie. So, we will go to the um, next level on Cortex Island, Cortex Power. And this one is unique in, in the game because this one introduces us to the um, um, branching pathways. Something that um, is almost unheard of. Except maybe in Insanity Beach, because, um, yeah. Um, in addition, this requires the blue gem, and we do not have the blue gem yet. Um, as I say, so yeah, there's that. The other thing is that um, the next level I will cover, uh, both this one, all three of these levels require, um, well, this one requires a um, thing, so we can't get all the boxes. The next two levels, however, the Generator Room and Toxic Waste, have, um, both have coloured gems, and I only get, uh, the coloured gem in one of them, and I get the other one off-screen. So, guess which one it is, and it's not the Generator Room. Anyway, here is an example of the branching pathways. You can either go to the left or to the right. If we go to the right, what will happen is that we will run into this marsupial, one of pinstripe potteroos, who's the boss of this area, uh, minions. So, yeah. Also, be careful. Um, there is a um, TNT box there. So, yeah. And uh, also, don't miss that um, exclamation box, because that'll set off a few other boxes to appear a little later on. As we will see, um, there are various hazards in the way uh, for you to jump over. Firstly, of course, the chemicals below, which will drown crash uh, rather quickly. Um, um, the uh, floating robots, of course. And, of course, um, the pipes, um, which, um, of course, generate electricity. And uh, if you know anything about electricity in the Crash games, you will know that um, it stalls crash um, moving here. Yeah, seriously, these things are annoying. Also, these boxes, um, if you die enough times, they um, completely disappear. So, yeah, as we will see when we will come back to this level. So, with that said, let's actually um, move over here and um, jump... Oh! The water, not water, the chemicals drowned crash there. So let's do that again after a little pause break. Yes, I decided to do a pause break there. So yeah, and each of the jumps are not easy to make, are they? Ooh. As I say, so I'm just going for a straight up run on this one. I'm not going to uh, worry about getting the um, uh, gem yet. So what do we have? Well, we have more of these um, Tesla coils. I think so. Um, so yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, never mind. Um, then well, jump on his head. Yeah, at least the floating robots are easier to jump on, I guess. Well, not always. Just like in um, heavy machinery, uh, they can uh, be missed. The hitboxes are not great in NC Trilogy, but never mind. And here we have a row of boxes that we have to jump off of. And I am not so good at this. Seriously. Thank goodness I am not going for the gem here. I will, however, go get the lump of fruit in the bounce boxes because, of course, um, I do want more lives even though I think I have over 30 still. Um, I don't know. But, um, yeah. Well, I don't have enough to get a one up, but never mind. Um, Crash will just have to suffer the humiliation of at least um, 13 boxes. Um, bad luck for him. Anyway, that being said, let's go to the next level, the generator room. And this one is um, rather tough indeed as well, because it has um, no floor beneath you. You are on a sp suspended platform, while um, what looks like an animated gif of... Um, uh, Dr. Neo Cortex is laughing at you. Seriously, that gave me nightmares as a kid. That gave me freaking nightmares on the original PS1 version. Also, you will note there that I did indeed um, 
um, do have here the um, time trial. That is because my original recording of this, I did not get all of the level. And um, that is also the reason why I um, end up keep I keep end up dying here because of that. Because um, of course this is a colored gem stage um, to get the yellow gem, and um, yeah, um, this is one of the tougher levels to get through, along with the slippery climb, the one for the red gem. So yeah, and um, I do get the yellow gem off screen, but. Apparently I didn't record it, so this is as close you'll get, I suppose, from me for doing a full run of the stage because of that. Anyway, to the right over there, you can see a bunch of boxes. And indeed, that leads to a platform with some boxes on it. Uh, the problem with this is um, Crash will fall off, um, or the um, platform will fall down as soon as you step on it. It will start to eventually shudder. And fall down. So if you want to get everything, do so as quickly as possible. Yes, um, and it will come back up, unlike the smaller platforms um, uh, to the um, straight ahead of us, to the north of us. So yeah, um, so yeah. And um, once you reach this checkpoint, you can't die if you're playing this regularly. Obviously, I am not because. Um, of course, I already had the colored gem when I um, re-recorded this, so that's why and everything. Because you can't do a time trial in um, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy without clearing a level first. Just like in the original version of Crash 3, actually. So yeah, I do like the uh, distance. Um, don't drop down there, though. That isn't a shortcut. Crash will just... Um, injure his head on the thing. And now we can actually go into the Torna Bonus stage. Indeed we can. So let's do that. And the Torna Bonus stage is um, more suspended boxes. Any bounce boxes? I don't know. It kind of functions like the last uh, Embryo stage without the um, 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 exclamation boxes really. Not too hard. Anyway, that being said, Woodabaga! Boom, boom! And then, let's go over here. And, oh boy, these um, robots are annoying. Was it worth le uh, losing the Aku Aku mask? I think so, because, um, as I say, um, um, the, um, that would have helped. So, yeah, over here we have some more pipes. Um, well, further on, we have more pipes. Uh, with these floating platforms, along with the camera bots. Again, those can be spun away just like in heavy machinery. Nothing too hard, as I say. And then, um, go over here, and, um, yeah. Many leaps of faith, and I don't think Crash would want the job as Spider-Man. Just saying. Uh, but, never mind. Okay, I have 49 lives. Good to know. Or at least on my re-recording I did. Now the flying robots will move a little quicker here. So yeah, you want to move um, carefully. Maybe not quickly. And there are two TNT boxes here. So let's jump off to the right. And wait until the camera bot... I don't know why I waited. I'm guessing that's just my nature when playing Crash games. Seriously. Now this platform to the left, that um, kind of brownish looking one there that will carry you over these hot pipes which will burn crash if you're not careful and um, also these icy pipes which um, are very slippery if you can't tell what i like to do is um, move crash a little further downwards so it doesn't get pushed off by in by accident and then we will get the um, some more uh, wound ups and that's it. Yes, and we also get an introduction to Pinstripe Pottery there. So, yeah. So, now let us go back to the um, Wumpa Islands and indeed to the. Um, that was from my previous recording, but let's go to um, the next level, which I will do, which of course is Toxic Waste. Oh boy, Toxic Waste. Yeah, I'm. Um, 
Sorry for the cut there. Um, yeah, because I want to show off my run where I actually did get the blue gem in the stage. So, basically how Toxic Waste works is that um, there will be these, um, I'm guessing, um, Mafia guys throwing um, Toxic Barrels towards you. And what you have to do is um, jump over the rolling ones, firstly. There are two kinds of barrels, which I will get to. Firstly, there are the rolling ones, which you can easily jump over, so long as you um, time your jumps well. You can also go off to one side to avoid them, which is a worthwhile strategy. And then over here, um, we see the thing, and then you spin the guy, and then you do them. Kind of works like the blunderbuss guys in... Um, both uh, behaving and um, the secret area in um, um, unbearable in Crash 2. And yes, there is also a tournament bonus stage. Not a hard one though, just like the last one. So yeah, and um, after this guy, we will be introduced to the bouncing barrels. Yes, they are very annoying to deal with indeed. So, I say we go up, <clears throat> and there we will see a bouncing barrel. Now, you will see on the ground, there are actually groove marks on the floor. That is where the bouncing barrel is going to bounce. So, yeah, you can see it's certainly on the regular floor. So, uh, um, if you're um, anywhere near one of those um, grooves on the floor, then um, you will take the hit, basically. So yeah, you can also go off to one side, just like with the other barrels, so it isn't too hard. There are, there is one bouncing barrel for every, um, dare I say, uh, rolling barrel, every two boat rolling barrels. So yeah, on the, you can actually see on the um, walkways going upwards as well. So yeah, not too bad. And now we'll get two bouncing barrels for every rolling barrel, or maybe, no, um, nothing but bouncing barrels. Anyway, the tournament bonus stage has uh, TNT boxes, and we have to get out of the way as quickly as possible. As I say, I am not going for the Wumba Fruit. Sorry, game, I'm not going to do it. Anyway, that being said, now back to, um... Uh-oh. And then jump over. And boing, boing. And then stay on the middle one, and then spin the guy. And that's it. We also get the blue gem on screen. So, yeah. So, with that said, I think I will be revisiting some of the other levels that require the blue gem. So, I will see you then. Goodbye!